my name is Martin and welcome to my guitar channel. just make a video about my past caster uh, guitar project and uh, show you some of the parts I've got uh, for it. Um, as you can see here, uh, the first thing I got is a case, uh, SKB uh, 66 Pro, a hard case. Um, I think it's pretty good quality, um, so I have a a safe place to keep the keys and also when it has to be transported. First off, let me show you a picture of where I want the guitar to, uh, how I want the guitar to, to look, uh, where I want the project to end up. It's uh, something like this. And uh, yeah, that's anyway what I'm building towards. So let's throw that there. What do I got in here? Well, I got some picks. You need picks. For a long time, I've used these uh, Dunlop Tortix picks, um, and I've been using the the dime trick of scratching the picks so that you have better grip on them. Um, but then I thought I would try some other picks to see if there was anything that I liked better. So I'm going to try these Dunlop Altex as well as some Ibanez picks which has some kind of material on them so that they don't slip as easy. I got some strings because you need strings. So these two sets probably will be used for, for setting up the action and so on. Uh, so I probably have to get some more before I'm finished. I've always been a big fan of the Deodario strings uh, and um, probably going to use these uh, 10 to 52s on this guitar uh, because I'm planning on uh, down tuning uh, I think half a step uh, and then maybe doing a, a drop uh, tuning as well um, so that's why I have gone for those uh, the top heavy the bottom heavy strings. Then I got some moisture suction thing. I got keys for the case. And then I got the jewels for the headstock. I ordered the neck and headstock uh, drilled for, for shallow. Uh, mini tuners, um, but then I saw these, uh, a picture of these, and thought they looked pretty cool. It's hip shocked open gear tuners, and uh, yeah, I just think they look cool, and uh, also it's it's a bit different with the open gear design of these tuners. And they are they were actually a bit cheaper than the shallow tuners, and um, they are the same quality, if not better. Um, time will will show that. Um, and also, I counted out that it's about eighteen to one ratio, so that you'll have pretty accurate uh, tuning. Uh, on this, 
then again, uh, these tuners, uh, because I'm using a Floyd Rose double locker system, um, these tuners are not that important for for tuning stability and, and so on. But still, it's nice to have good tuners. I've got a strap, a strap width, uh, a shallow strap locks, so the guitar is secure. I've got a bunch of racks, so you can keep everything clean. I got some batteries, I'll explain later why I need batteries. Here I got a freeway switch. It's time to get some of the electronics here. This is a fender. Freeway switch. So I'm pretty sturdy. And it comes with two different nuts and also the screws. I'm not going to use these screws because I have decided that my guitar, all the screws in the guitar, it shall be black. Black. So from Walmart, I also ordered black screws for this. And I've got again a set of shallow strap locks because I have ordered yet another strap for the guitar from uh, Soldier uh, which makes, makes straps from uh, recycled uh, seat belts um, but it's a, a custom strap so it takes a while for them to to make it and shape it um, so more about that when, when it gets here I've got some uh, nuts here for the volume and the tone. These are Gibson nuts. Um, I could only get them uh, four of them. I only need two, um, but that's okay because two of them actually has some slight imperfections to them. So, but the other two are are mint condition. So, so they'll be the the best ones I'll I'll use. And then I have some spares if. I for some reason should loosen up somewhere. So that's always good. I've got some shielding material to shield the control cavity and maybe the pickup cavities, although that is not really something that I'll probably need because I'm planning on putting humbuggers in the guitar. Um, then I got this, that is a Shiala, a Shure Claw. In the guitar I'm going to use um, a Shiala uh, Lockmeister uh, Tremolo system. Um, it's the Floyd Rose uh, type of Tremolo. Shiala which also makes the original Floyd Rose. Um, and the Lockmaster system is a, a true copy of the, the Shiala, uh, of the original Floyd Rose. And, um, but the, the Shiala Lockmaster is, I think, about $130 cheaper. Um, so that's why I go with the shell. Um, also for the, the shell trim low I ordered this uh, shell um, short law I think they call it um, is to replace the uh, standard uh, spring claw uh, on the system and this can be adjusted uh, why this uh, bracket um, here so that you just by making a little hole in your uh, tremolo cover plate uh, can adjust the spring tension without removing the, 
the spring cover plate. Um, so that's a little upgrade for the system. Just a quick tour of my apartment. preamp in this guitar. Um, again it might be total overkill because of the high output humbuckers I'm using. Um, but anyway, got it right. Um, the preamp comes with a, a tone part. It's the mini kind, which some people are against, but I think it's okay. It's, it seems to be be a good quality, but um, nice smooth action. So and the volume part is built together with the preamp. Um, and it's Super Duncan's solderless system so that you don't have to solder to to mount your pickups there'll just be a bit of a soldering with the tone uh, part uh, and the capacitor for the tone uh, circuit um, and then of course uh, the connections to the jack and, and so on uh, but here everything just screws into these connectors. So it'll be interesting to see because the guitar that or the guitar body I ordered from Walmart has a tele style control cavity. So I'm pretty excited to see if this will actually fit into the cavity without having to do some modifications to it. Um, I think it will be a very close fit, but hopefully it will fit in there, so I don't have to start grinding on the guitar to, to fit this in. It comes with um, a little screwdriver to screw in the connections which is nice and it also comes with a bit of wire uh, a 9 volt connector which I'm not going to use because I'm getting a battery box built into the guitar so uh, it comes with a stereo jack a stereo jack because then it automatically turns on and off the power uh, when you plug the guitar so I'll put a jack into the guitar so and it also seems to be a very nice quality the jack so that's good it comes with a capacitor um, a little one I cannot read what uh, the code on it is uh, but according to the the diagram which also comes with the the preamp set, um, it should be a, a 0.047 microfarad uh, capacitor. I'm not going to use this one because I've got another one. I've got this uh, retro vibe oil capacitor, which is also a, a 0.047 microfarad capacitor. Um, and it's a big one, <laughs> so uh, you can see compared to the tone knob, it's a very big capacitor. So I'm excited to hear what that sounds like when it gets.
put together. And also if I have space for, for mounting this in the guitar, but we'll find out eventually. And that is of course also why I need the batteries, because it's going to be an active kind of guitar, like the, the preamp. Now we're getting to the sole of the guitar. I have here um, a Seymour Duncan 59 Humbugger and it's the Zebra one and this one is actually uh, meant for the bridge position although I'm gonna mount it in the neck position of the guitar and uh, if I show you the other Humbugger that I got. This is this one, the Dimebugger, also from Simon Duncan. Um, and as a, will probably be apparent during these videos, that I'm a huge uh, Dimebag fan uh, and love the music that he made with Pantera and later on Damage Plan. Um, so, when I had to choose pickups, it was pretty obvious that I would go for the the Dimebag uh, signature set uh, from Simon Duncan. Um, and because this Humber is a, a very powerful one with a, a high output, uh, what Dimebag did was to take the bridge a 59 amount in the neck position to even out uh, the, the difference between the two pickups so that you don't have a drop in, in volume and gain when you uh, shift from bridge to neck position on the guitar. These pickups come with screws and springs. Um, Again, I'm not going to use these screws because I want black screws instead. So, but it's nice that it comes with the pickups. The dime bar comes with this mounting ring, and it also has screws included. And these screws are black, so that's cool. Also, these screws are a bit uh, unusual for for mounting uh, a pickup. And that's because the pickup has this plastic enclosure, so those are, are soft tapping screws um, for this pickup. And you can see when you fit this pickup ring, it's a form fitting to, to a pickup. So that's going to look very cool, I think. This pickup is also a for conductor pickup, so it is possible to to make a a coil split on it. Uh, I'm not gonna on this guitar, but I have the option. Let me just again show you quickly how I'm planning for the thing to to end up. Um, so. On this picture it's not the right kind of tune as on the hairstock uh, and also the neck plate is going to be chrome instead of black so that it matches the control plate uh, on the front. Uh, but pretty much this is, is where I intend for the, the guitar to, to end up. Walmart has a uh, 8 to 10 weeks uh, estimated production time and then uh, for shipping uh, to Denmark it will be uh, two to three weeks um, so I'm looking at uh, a time uh, from when I ordered uh, the body and the neck uh, of 10 to 13 weeks uh, before I can expect to to get the guitar so that will be somewhere from the middle of uh, May to the beginning of uh, June um, so 
if it's the beginning of June it will uh, fall together with my birthday when I turn turn 40 so that will be a pretty nice birthday gift so but I'm hoping it's gonna get here sooner because really I can't wait um, so but I will talk a uh, lot more about the specifications on, on the neck and the body uh, of the guitar um, and also my thoughts about designing uh, the body and uh, the options that you got if you order a custom uh, if you order custom parts from from Walmart. So uh, more to come in later videos. So Martin's out.